Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Inscription, where we have some new challenges today, including the challenge of playing with what will probably be the worst deck, the ocean deck, the swimming deck, where two of them are also flying, meaning they can't even fight against the things that they're trying to do against. I'm going to hate this. I was also looking through the menu and saw there's a few challenges I've never won with, such as Clover and Smaller Backpack and Old Totem Battles, which frankly might possibly make this easier, ironically. Somehow. Maybe. It's kind of very dependent on what we get. So, I figured let's go with this, because I can't go with tipped scales because we're the ocean deck. I don't want to risk the single candle because we're the ocean deck. So, and I definitely don't want it to be more difficult because we're the ocean deck. So let's just go with a billion totems, everything there, and I suppose no rares. Hello, Leshy. Great Kraken. Well, that's a rare card from the looks of it. What is this? Waterborne. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Why is it the same symbol, but meaning, but a different symbol? Okay. Whatever you say. Well, let's see what we have to work with. Available for us here. Okay, Wolverine. Bloodlust. When a card bearing the sigil attacks an opposing creature and perishes, the, this card gains plus one power. Tempting. Tempting. So is the Ringworm. Just so we can immediately start leveling stuff up. Which might be really, really, really useful. So I think I'll do that. And then I think I'll take the Cuckoo. Because we all know what I'm like with my cuckoo. I like my cuckoo. I love my cuckoo. The cuckoo is the best thing. Unless I want the skunk and I want to attach the skunk to one of the... The stupid little herring birds I've got. Then again, I could also do that to the cuckoo as well. Screw it, I'll do it to the cuckoo. Or give it... I'm gonna rank up the cuckoo at least. That's there as a totem. We're gonna need that. We're only allowed two items, so I'm at max. Right. None of that is useful. If I remember rightly, yeah, there's nothing left in there. And there's nothing really to do around the cabin. Okay, it's just playing the game then. Okay then, Leshy, let's play the game. Anti-air deer. You decided to immediately hard counter me. Really? Screw it, let's play the Great Kraken. What the Christ does it do? I'm sorry, what? So you submerge under the ocean and then become a tentacle creature. Is that what I'm reading from that? Huh. That is... Quite honestly, kind of cool. Becoming a tentacle creature like that. Alright then. We get some teeth. Not many teeth. We got increased trapper prices as well, so probably not enough teeth. I honestly think I might rather a card. And then I can go to the sacrifice and do peck all with it. Unless I get something really good from here. Hmm. Screw it, I'll take the risk. A cuckoo. Double cuckoo. Cool, but also not what we want because we need to do sacrifices because we need to do what am I call it stuff. I could take a pronghorn and give it to the Kraken, maybe. So that it's got double attack. But 
or you know the cocoon and apply it to one of the kingfishers, so the kingfisher isn't entirely useless. No, I think best bet is the pronghorn. Boost the kraken. Let's go. Jumping deer. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, heck your deer, I have a cuckoo. And I know you're about to evolve. But my creature flies. So it's kind of irrelevant. And you only do two damage. So we have now evened out. Ooh, a great kraken. Oh wait, that's, pe that's a pecking death sentence. I need the other kingfisher there before I can summon the great kraken. Which is... Just so that we don't end up killing the broken egg. You know, it's just occurred to me that if I summon you, the, you're going to move that thing al along, aren't you? I mean, it doesn't really matter all too much. Because it's still in front of a kingfisher, which it can't kill. But then that's going to move across and stop the the mole, so I should wait a turn for the mole to appear. Now I can summon the Kraken. It doesn't make a difference. What do we get this time? Direwolf. Pretty good. Turkey Vulture. Maybe? Too expensive, in my opinion. Porcupine. Always God sent. Sent. Woodcarver. Bones. Bones are useful. They'll do for now. Anti fly deer once again. Summon the cuckoo. Screw your little. What am I calling? That's going to kill me in the end by summoning an egg, isn't it? Do you always turn into the one which has like four attack? No, because now it's three. Why has it gone down? Either way, doesn't matter. There's a fireplace right there. That means I can sacrifice my ringworm. Also, another... Another cuckoo. Sure. Why not? Why not indeed? You want to give me plus two health? Sure. Let me give it to the ringworm. Now, if you'll be so kind, have a snack. There we go. Love it. Now I need to figure out what the hell to superpower, because I haven't a pecking clue. I don't even know what I would want to summon onto what right now. Or sacrifice what onto what. Because all of the... This is the problem with starting with two kingfishers. I suppose I'll sacrifice a cuckoo onto the porcupine. Why not? I guess. I just realized I'm fucked. This ocean deck cannot beat the trapper if it's the very first boss. Because everything has one HP. Everything has one HP. It's anti-fly. So we can't hit past them. Okay, do that. I at least get a point of damage in. You're going to swap over. You swap over. That's going to die. Point of damage. You return it. That swaps. My cuckoo is going to now die. Porcupine. If I place the porcupine there, it'll hit that, you'll hit back, die to the porcupine. Porcupine will still live to be able to attack, in other words, give me a pelt.
Ah! It won't give me the pelt because now the bullfrog's in the way. Actually, the bullfrog will die, none the same. Thus meaning I now have all the stuff in the world. And the only thing I need is, well, another pelt. Which in theory I can get by doing that. Now I need a bunch of squirrels. I'm not actually bothered by that. That just gives me more time. Because we actually have the advantage that I put the, the double attack on you. Because what that means is I can sacrifice you to summon the Kraken. Kraken will kill both of those. Who cares? The broken egg was going to go in the end. I summon the squirrel and the squirrel will die. You'll move across. And end us the fight before before the bullfrog can kill you. Glorious. And your damage is based on the amount of cards I have in my hand. Okay. So is yours. There we go. Summon a squirrel. Now I can take a squirrel, sacrifice it, and summon another card tentacle. And I think if I summon anything else, I lose more than I gain. So, whack, whack, whack. I'm impressed I actually managed to beat that, honestly. Now that is what you call tactical thinking. What do I have on offer here? Another Kingfisher? I don't want those things. They're bloody useless. I don't want the Dire Wolf either. It's too expensive to summon. Which is ironic because I've been given two black goats. I could have summoned it. I'll take the skink. You heard the howling of wolves greeting the morning sun. The sight of a nearby coyote caused you to quicken your pace. You have reached the woodlands. Cool. Uh... Well, here's the thing, game. There's a sacrifice point right in front of me so I could get that magpie. I just have nothing to benefit from the magpie, but I'm... T or a big card I want to summon immediately. But still, it's always good to have something like that. And then I could give it to the cuckoo or a kingfisher because they're pretty safe bet. I mean, I like my cuckoo, so... Screw it. We need something that can't fly, so I can't give it to the skink. Guard dog wolves. Interesting. Not sure I like that. I especially don't like that. I have no choice but to do this as my first move if I wish to do something useful. Fuck. Why is it only one? Is that the bell? Double fuck. This is why you can't play the game without- play this deck with one life. Just cause you get pecked over. Please be something good. Health. Wisdom. Kin. I don't- I can't fail wisdom. I actually can't fail it. What are my options? Dam building tentacle thing, which also has worthy sacrifice, which would then apply to the dams, which is only one cost, and based- damage based on cards. Stinky mole? Which is actually more absurd than it sounds. And then a leader, but the leader moves, and I don't like that. 
Honestly, I think that, just so I can start getting some sacrifice bait. Oh, you want to give me bonus attack, do you? Well, uh... Giving it to the Kraken actually sucks, thinking about it. Because the Kraken turns into a... Giving the Kraken bonus attack, at least, sucks. Because it turns into something that... Where its attack is basically not... Is dependent on other factors, not a static number. So... Ironically, giving it to one of the Kingfishers... Would probably work wonders. Thinking about it. Defensive birds. Which one is this? One attack. Peck. Well, actually not so peck. Because I can do that. And that'll do two damage. Providing me time. To start gaining more cards. Now it's peck. And I need to do something. Actually, no, I don't. Wait, wait. Two damage. One, two. You'll move across there. Get killed. Kill the coyote in the same at the same time. Yeah, I can survive the next attack. Draw a card. Even if I sacrifice something, you still live. There. You know what? Now that I've got this thing, that cuckoo is actually exceedingly useful. Now, does summoning anything actually net me more damage? Yes, summon the Kraken. It's got double attack. Okay. That sacrifice damn tentacle will end up being very useful, I can tell. I might want a second one, quite frankly. I honestly want to go there just so I can get a super being, which I might want to copy. I could also go to the to the trapper because I have a lot of teeth. Then, but then I'm stuck with a bunch of pelts, and with my deck so small, I'm not sure I want that. If I go to the mycologist, I'll lose the kingfisher, which might not be a bad idea. Although the next damage up, I'm probably gonna give to the king, the other kingfisher. And as I say, I can get a copy of that, which basically means I don't need to sub pick up squirrels. Blood. Bones. Kin. Okay, well, the only thing I could pass is kin. Kin. And I do have a lot of, and I do have three birds here, so... No, no, shame, shame. Oh well, it happens. I just realized you can actually change sigils, can't you? Screw it, it's worth the risk. Just give it extra health, please. Is that actually an exact copy? Yeah, that's actually an exact copy. Well done, little slime. You actually did what I asked for. Burrowing wolves. Pecking burrowing wolves. Well, first thing to do is actually quite simple. Pecking. Stop that bloody thing. And then ironically, I'll take the kingfisher. Right. Squirrel. That was the wrong move. I could have summoned the porcupine onto the other spot to stop the thing, the wolf coming down. It's hard being a fool. But it doesn't matter. I've still won. Alright, the Prospector is up ahead. There's a sacrifice point there, which, frankly, I don't think I want to use. I can either go... For, I can go to the Mycologists, 
which would combine the kingfishers, which again, I'm not sure I want to do. It would combine those, or combine those two, which again, I'm not sure I want to do. I could just, either way, I'm losing a card, no matter what I do. The most likely scenario for something good is to go there, which can give me some sigils to sacrifice onto something. So. What do you offer? A warren. Interesting. Actually, the elk might not be bad right now. Especially giving it the ki the, the kingfisher stuff. Because it's got more attack by default. The fact it's got health, though, makes it very useful. Warren, however, means I could summon one of the kingfishers and, you know, just summon something else. How the peck am I going to kill that bloody mule? It's got to be one of you to do it, right? Alright, is it health or is it... Or is it damage? It's a damage. Okay. That means I give it to... Probably the cuckoo would be better. Because, you know, the actually, no, the kingfish is safer. Because it can't die. So as long as I can somehow kill that mule and get past the point of... Right, I got a kingfisher. Nice. I can summon one of these two. And it will attack. It will then block the damage from the coyote. And then I can summon the kingfisher in its place. To start us doing all the damage that we need. Meanwhile, that skink can start whittling down the pack mule. Oh. I'm fine with that. I'm less fine with that. Get him! Okay, here's the question. What is going to move in front of me? The bloodhound or the coyote? Because if it's the if it's the bloodhound, I put the crack in there to kill off the coyote. If it's the if it's the coyote, I should summon you to kill it. That there answers my question, because I have to summon it onto the field. Meaning that by doing that, I can now summon the Kraken freely, which will kill the, the coyote and do some damage, giving me a bit of a buffer. Really, you got the mirror. The mirror tentacle. Fuck you. Cuckoo. Would the egg be summoned before or after they move? Okay, here's the deal. You're gonna block the damage from, from, from the wolf cub. That's fine. You're then gonna move across, giving you two attack, attack because you'll be in front of the, wolf, the bloodhound, which will do two damage, because you'll hit there, and be able to kill the wolf cub. Sorry. That's even better. Thank you. Now then, you're gonna kill the wolf cub and do two damage, but you won't block that damage there. The wolf, the mule is in the way, giving us an extra turn to, until the pup gets here. More importantly, now I can summon the, that and sacrifice you in front of the wolfhound which will kill the wolf out. I'm okay with this. 
Sacrifice a dam. They're both sacrifice bait and defensive. My beautiful! And Chippa! Okay then. Now, I can sacrifice the dam to kill the wolf, to kill the wolf pup. What am I talking about? I'm doing eight pecking damage. It's irrelevant. Okay. That went better than I thought it would, to say the least. Wolf cub. Wolf cub for evolving. Plus, then if I give the wolf cub the tail, then it will turn into a wolf. Surprise, su assuming there's nothing in the way. Tepid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. Right. What have I got? Sacrifice a card or copy a card. I could cop make another one of these for even more sacrifice bait. Which honestly doesn't sound like the worst idea. But I could also make another cuckoo. Which would be able to be able to find me more stuff. And I can't see which way of these will give me a fireplace, so either way, it is definitely this way that we're going. Well, I seem to be going bird. So I'll go bar. Uh, so I'll go this adder. You know what? That has its uses. Could I put the adder onto anything? I could put the adder onto the wolf, which would then guarantee it killing whatever the the hell is in front of it. So it's not just potentially dead if I place it in front of something to what I'm gonna call it. But I would like another copy of this little little jar. Little, you will paint to perfection. I ho I hope so, because you've painted one of these to perfection already. I'm not going to give you the, the copy you painted, because I don't trust you that much. But please, copy that one perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. Damn it, the other side would have given me a campfire. Mantis, double attack. B. Place that. Place it there. Then... Sacrifice one of these for the Kingfisher, and... It's not GG this turn, but I think it is Nate's turn. Yeah, because the Kingfisher can fly over the bee, killing it. So I might as well pick from the deck... Find one of those, and might as well summon it right there, because you're going to attack the empty space. Doesn't matter, I win none the same. Let's, there is a trapper right there, so I'd have to go through one fight with him. But I'm actually quite happy with the fact I've managed to keep my card count low. I am gonna- if I go that way, though, I am going to- No matter which way I go, I'm getting a card, be it- That way I get two cards, this way I get one card. I can deal with a pack rat. I'll sacrifice it onto something. Hopefully. Three sigils, win. I don't need to look at the others, I win. With that. Pretty much my entire deck has three- Has what I'm gonna call it. M amount of sigils on it. A grizzly could be really good. I wouldn't mind the mealworm if it didn't have the burrower. But the grizzly is really good just because it's both offensive and defensive. I have the ability for triple costs now. And it also summons dams, which will be anti-flying. Yes, yes. Give me my pack rat. Moving on. Wiggly... Wiggly worms. Wiggly worms once again. Well. Whatever shall we do here? 
honestly, the answer is very simple. We do that. We do that. We then do that, telling your aunt to go peck itself. Fuck. Um, I'll deal. And I do that. Really, it becomes a raven on your first turn. Really now. Great Kraken. Nope, I have lost. If I summon the Kraken there, which will sacrifice the skink, I'll kill that. Move. I'll I'll kill that. It'll move across. Which won't matter because it's waterborne. You'll come down, deal two damage, two damage, two damage, six damage. There is no saving. The best amount of damage uh, I can, s the be the best way this scenario can go, is if I summon, if I sacrifice the skink, to summon you, put you there, pick up the squirrel, which will do two damage, which wi will kill you because there's no room for you to wiggle off. But that'll then only you'll move down, prevent one damage, one, one, two, and. I can only do one via the scorpion, via the porcupine. I've lost. I humbly accept my defeat. You took, I only took four damage anyway. My point still stands. Right. If I go left, I can get the campsite, which can make me a super cut, which can make me a more powerful card. Uh, Mud Turtle, because it's got more attack. Plus two health. What needs plus two health? If anything, maybe the Porcupine. Just because then it can just be a bat. Then it can be a pecking wall, which attacks back and does damage. So not only does it do damage, it does damage to the person thing attacking it and prevents damage to us. I would say one of these things, but I've got three of them at this point. I don't need them to have more health. I, they're disposable. Maybe the Kraken, but the Kraken hasn't proved that useful in this end game. I have full faith in the Porcupine. Evolving snakes. That's actually awful. I don't think I can handle evolving. Uh... There we go. That dies there. A pack rat. Not what I needed. I have buffer time. I have about five turns to get something I actually need to save me. I stand corrected. I don't have five turns. If I use the squirrel, which I do need to because there's a backpack ahead so I don't get another pecking rat... I can summon you, and you'll have four attack, which will be enough to kill you and the adder. There we go, and I get one thing which I can use to summon something else later. Either way, we're about to do six damage, which will be a nice big buffer for us. I need to kill you. And I can do that by summoning the mud turtle, because you won't be able to move back. I still have plenty of health to work with. 
and if everything stays the exact same that it currently is, I win. But just to make set sure, considering it gave me one, I'm summoning the Kingfisher. I win. I'm not taking risks at this point, Leshy. You can't make me. Oh, campfire or sacrifice? I... Well, either way, I'm heading to the actual card rather than the blood point, but... Mirror could be useful. I'm gonna go with the mirror just because it does have the potential to just kill things. Then I'm going to go to the woodcarver, to the sacrifice point, so I can get rid of more cards. And you give me thorns. Thorns are better than bones in every regard. So we'll work with that. Sacrifice. What do we want to sacrifice onto what? You have... What am I call it now? Spikes, thanks for that last thing. Meaning if I give you the poison, you will kill anything that hurts you, let alone anything that you kit you attack. So yeah. That seems the best route for me. Now then. You're all about flying waterborne creatures. I'm all about flying waterborne creatures. That's annoying! I am the angler, you are the fish. I mean, in theory, so long as I keep summoning a squirrel there, I actually just do that. That triple attack Kingfisher at the very beginning was very useful for me. But you know what else is very useful? Double attack Kraken. Whack, 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 I win. The combos, everyone. The combos. It all sucks. Skunk. It can tank. Best choice? Sacrifice. Because... It'll get me less cards. And what should I sacrifice onto what? Stinky onto the Kingfisher. I think. Because that'll give the Kingfisher more use beyond just being damage for being pure damage. Especially if I get him in front of a pecking mantis god, which I know he's going to do. Now let me guess. Evolving insects? Right, evolving insects. It's what it tends to be. I haven't seen that in ages, thanks. Tail insects. That works better for me, I think. Stage one. Doing that. Three damage to the mole man, you'll kill him next turn. And... I still have you for execution fodder. So that works. You're going to be annoying. Because he's about to kill my dams. Turtle. Mud turtle works. Because the mud turtle can survive some attacks from you. Problem is, you're going to move down and kill that. Which actually works because it means you'll block that amalgam.
cancel that, I can't actually summon the Mud Turtle this turn. But I can summon that. And then I can summon a squirrel there, which you're just going to pull forward. Mwahahaha. Oh god, I'm on HP off. Summon you. Put you there. Which honestly was probably the worst decision. Because I now need to summon the mud turtle there and you won't be able to kill. summoning the cub this turn, at least. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay with me- stay and fight for me. Are you saying I can pick anything? Because if I can pick anything... Thanks! Thanks! I'm pretty sure that just wins it for me. Well, it's first round at least. And the second round, because you still got the swimming thing. Ha! 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 Swimming worked against you! Ha! where things get interesting, because I now need to... I think the Ulia Ruli is strong enough to take it out by itself? I think? Yeah. It is. But a Kingfisher won't hurt. Wow, I actually won first time using the water deck. I am shocked, to say the least. Like, absurdly shocked. I... I didn't realize that... Okay, kingfishers might have their uses in the right circumstances, which is extremely peculiar. Entry 7. Some nights I mod, some nights I dig. I dig deeper into this log file and find things I sometimes wish I hadn't. This isn't some kind of disc Kamansky used to vent his workplace frustration. This is some kind of real crap. Every once in a while, I get some context from the woodcarver, and it's chilling. This could all be... this could all be bulk. Or there could be a doomsday machine under Berlin, armed b armed by a code hidden on the pa on a pack of cards. In other, wor in other news, I just finished implementing the boss totems challenge. You mean the thing I've been using since forever now? So what do you have? Raccoon. While Raccoon is on the board, opposing creatures also provide bones when perishing. Okay, so that's what you need for a bone deck. And then we got you, which is what? The Amalinger. The power of the Amalinger is equal to half of the bones of the owner. Also, Hamalinger will strike an opponent directly even if there is a... Oh, flying. Right, of course. New starter deck. Bone deck. You know what? That actually seems not bad. Especially compared to the ocean deck, which I just won by some form of miracle of luck of good cards. I don't know what to think of that. Well, everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode, so what can I say? Thank you all for joining me today. 
I have been your host, the Pyrofox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid, to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.